Okay, so I tried the uh, 5300G Sazani CPU briefly on LN2, but it didn't go uh, as well as I really hoped for. So uh, for some reason, these Sazani CPUs, they usually have a very annoying cold bug compared to the Vermeer CPUs. So it seems that most of these Sazani CPUs might have a cold bug somewhere around 120 degrees Celsius. Some CPUs might be able to go much colder than that, obviously, even to full pot temperatures. As I uh, checked some of the uh, submissions on hardware bot from other guys like Joe Nani from Brazil, Safedisk, and the German guy, some of them were able to run like full pot temperatures and so on. So it seems that it's like a CPU dependent thing. But uh, anyways, with this particular uh, CPU, I just couldn't go any colder than minus 116 or minus 118. When I went to minus 118 inside the operating system or colder than that, the whole thing just went crazy slow. So there was like a cold slow effect. So the mouse like uh, started moving much slower. It was like lagging like crazy. The mouse was lagging like crazy and uh, any of the open like windows were lagging like crazy if I tried to move them. And uh, uh, if I was running some tests like Geekbench 3, it went crazy slow as well. So very annoying and very weird if you ask me. So uh, no damn idea. And uh, if I tried to uh, cold boot, very cold temperatures like minus 120 or colder, it usually hang at debug code of 54. And very cold temperatures like minus 140 and so on, they usually just hang at 00, zero or a similar uh, debug code. So uh, it seems, but sadly, that this CPU just cannot go to very cold temperatures and, and that obviously limits my maximum clock speeds by a huge amount. So the maximum speed I was able to do on the CPU for uh, multi-core tests like Geekbench 3 and uh, GPU Pi 1 billion, so with 4 cores and 8 threads, was somewhere between 5.4 and 5.5 for Geekbench 3. 5.4 was completely easy. I think the maximum is somewhere around 5.5, but I didn't really try to push Geekbench 3 that much. GPU Pi 1 billion, I managed to do like 5.538 or 5.55, and I tried 5.6, but it failed at batch 3 to 5 or something like this. So uh, that's pretty much the end. So no rank 1 scores this time around with the 5300G. I really hoped I could have smashed the uh, GPU Pi uh, record score in the quad core category as the CPU was doing just so awesome results on water. But that's pretty much it. I can obviously sell the CPU and it should be a very good CPU in the end anyways for uh, any like water user anyways. I tried all of the different voltages like CPU, SOC, CLD0, VDDP and the Infinity uh, Fabric, but they didn't give any difference whatsoever. I tried to mess around with the iGPU settings, but no difference whatsoever. Sadly, that's the end of this video. So if you were interested uh, on like hearing or seeing how well the CPU could do on LN2, as it was very awesome on water. So these are the results pretty much. So uh, 5.4 to 5.6 ish. And uh, yeah, no record scores this, uh, this time around, but that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, show video if you were interested in these results. And uh, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again. And I will see you on the next one.